I just want to pick up where David was uh, looking at the, uh, you're looking at the NQ, aren't you? Yeah. You're looking at the NQ, yeah. and uh, he doesn't have these um, uh, levels uh, on his chart, not because he doesn't use them. It's just that you know, it's it's. Um, I tend to focus more on uh, the Camarilla levels that we have developed for uh, our trading, and you can apply them to um, any market that that you trade. And one of the reasons that the um, the NQ is sort of struggling a little bit at the moment is this is the um, these are the these are the intraday levels here for uh, the index as we can see here as it just happens to be on the 10 minute chart and um, it, this, it's trading around this level here which is the the, the fourth level at the S4 and it's always um, it, it always struggles at the fourth level. It will test it. It will break through. It will then uh, it, it will then retest, and we can you can see it here. Uh, you can see it uh, you can see it here as well. But what's interesting is if you if we move up to the 60 minute, I just want to make sure that I've got enough days on the back of uh, that's it. I've got 100 days. It's also we have um, we have a confluence. Of the of the S4 at on on both these which time frame which is unusual because the 60 minute to the day um, this level is valid for the rest of the week whereas the intraday levels are just on intraday so what it's trying to do is trying to reverse off as I said this this steep fall lower you know this this was a a, a nice move lower this is the this is the open around whenever it's around this uh, the, the the S4 and um, uh, the, the opposite, which is the R4, is always, always a little bit of a struggle. But if it can move away and re reverse higher, that's great. But what isn't very encouraging is seeing the kind of volume that we have underneath it because it's, you know, it, it's it's kind of price is just being marked up and, and it's not being supported by, by genuine participation. And that's what you want to see. Now, you could say, well, it's moving up. Is, is that is, is it possible to trade? It depends. It, it depends on your time frame. If you're if you're on a very, very fast chart and you're just looking to take a few points or a few pips out of anything, then, yeah, anything is is worth is, is worth trading because the um, the these um, uh, these this methodology you can you can apply it, uh, as I said, across. Uh, all the markets, even spot forex. And there's another question I'm asked about spot forex. Is it well? There's no central exchange. Yes, you're absolutely right. There is no central exchange, and the volume that you see at the bottom of uh, of a typical MT5 chart, let's have a look at MT4 chart, will be the volume that is delivered. Um, by your broker. It's not the broker's volume. He will have. He will draw that from um from the liquidity from uh, the the banks that you know the interbank market they they bundle up the feed and brokers then pay for that feed uh, and it's and it's reflected on the chart if i just show so let's have a look at the 10 minute chart it's probably easier or has it disappeared to there we are let's have a look it represents in uh, this way. It's not 100%. It can't be because, as I said, there's no, there's no uh, central centralized exchange. But it is good enough uh, for uh, applying uh, the VPA methodology. And in fact, there's a really been there's been a nice move uh, in in cable. But to get back to uh, uh, the um, uh, the NQ, so you have the VPA, you have the price action, you have the volume, and then Support and resistance levels, key levels. As I said, we use uh, uh, we we've developed this indicator, a Cameroon indicator, and then we have our accumulation and distribution uh, indicator as well. And if we look up just to see what's happening on Investing.com, the headline says it all. Uh, Nasdaq is it's as you can see here, it's desperately trying to claw higher. Markets fall an awful lot, an awful lot move, an awful lot faster. And harder, you know, when they go down. But when they get trying to make their way back up, it can be a bit of a grind. And as I said, the, the fears of the virus to do with, uh, I think, there's been uh, uh, the unemployment. Of course, there's unemployment. Of course, people have have lost their jobs. The the economies have been absolutely uh, this carnage out there 
in uh, the world economies at the moment. But markets have, you know, headline writers, journalists, they all have to have have to make a narrative to explain what is happening, what has been happening on the charts. Awfully nice. We all like stories. Uh, you know, we, we respond to stories, but ultimately what you you have to trade what you see on the chart. And just to go to the pound Canadian, what I've done here, uh, this is actually the one minute chart. This was the level where it couldn't actually uh, get through. In fact, from a level perspective, back on, uh, there we are here, this is the 60 minute and it's quite interesting. It, 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 we had a kind of confluence again. This was, it hit the, the S2 here, on, uh, on the 60 minute, I actually, th I, I must admit, I did think it could uh, possibly take a run at 71. But, uh, and the reason I thought uh, it would stall at 71 was simply because there is this, uh, this is uh, based on um, our accumulation and distribution uh, indicator. And this has been hit eight times and come off there. And I thought, well, if it's gonna, if it's gonna make it, it's not gonna get past 71. Then I looked at the 60 minute chart and I thought it went ran straight into this level on the S2. So, you know, a potential reversal was uh, setting up. And the 71 was the R4 on the, on the intraday level. So it was a, you know, a, a decent level to aim for on the move higher that we, we were seeing. In fact, in, then we got a two bar reversal that we can see here. We can see it on the, um, this is the uh, Renko chart, which is a non-time based chart. And this is the move, this was the move higher. Then we went into this congestion phase. I haven't got the Camarilla on here. You can put Camarilla on the Renko version of Ninja. You can't do it on NT45, on NT but you can here. And this is the level, as we said, all those levels across the multiple timeframes where uh, the price uh, was pausing, couldn't get through. Then we had the reversal, which we saw here. Attempt to rise again. We had some green bricks. But the uh, and we even had some blue dots, but the trend monitor stays relentlessly red. Now you can say, well, where is it heading now? Well, the, the obvious stopping point is this strong support that we've got at 70.30. So VPA levels, uh, but candles, candle patterns, time in terms of multiple time frames, you can put them all together, all on different charts. You don't have to load everything up on one chart. Put your, you know, if you've got moving averages, you want to use moving average averages, that's entirely up to you. But at its heart, you've got volume price analysis because that will really help determine what that what you are seeing on the chart is either genuine or not. And that's all we want. We just want to know that what we're seeing is genuine. And, uh, you know, and it will, you take the emotion out of trading, as that uh, is that as that um, strap line says. You want emotions to work for you. You don't want them to work against you, and you certainly don't want them manipulated, as they are so often uh, done by uh, by you know uh, said. It's called the, uh, the manipulators, market makers call them who you what you like. Right, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to pass back to David. Is that all right, David? Yeah, fine. Okay. And um, if you've got any questions, please just drop them into the chat box or you can always drop me an email Anna at anacooling.com or david at quantumtrading.com.